All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful episode of Theme Park Tempo. I am here today in an Old Town district here in Kissimmee, Florida. Going to give you a full tour of Old Town. I've taken you to Fun Spot quite a few times now. Now, what I want to give it to you right behind me is a shopping district, a bunch of bars, restaurants, and a bunch of other like classic boardwalk style as goodies, as well as a few arcades and a really fun bunch of nifty shops. Really reminds me and gives me that old school carnival feel, which is obviously the predecessor to a lot of theme parks that we know and love today. But right here, Old Town, I'm gonna give you the full tour. Come with us, guys. Now, my most recent video, I took you on the world's tallest sky coaster here at Fun Spot. Um, however, though, right directly, if you're the coasters towards you and you're on your left, directly to that is Old Town, the shopping restaurant uh, store district here. That really does embody the traditional carnival sense. Now, Friday, Saturday nights, they do have car shows. Friday, from what I understand, is muscle cars. And Saturday nights are classic cars. You can see some cars lining up already for such. But yes, walking right into Old Town. You can make a right or left here at the Old Town Fountain. We're going to make a left first. Go down that way. Get some bathrooms here. Good old vending machines. But yes, we're going to make a direct left at the Hangman Challenge. After making that left, we have Embroidery World where you can get shirts and other stuff made up with your own custom designs on it. Like I said, it really does embody that old school carnival amusement park feel. Your old town deli. Got a fish bar where you get a massage with your fishes and your feet like these people are doing. Got a good old shooting gallery with some possible trademark <laughs> car in the background. Your old school your classic magic hat which is again possibly copyrighted huh. and your good old squeeze mr sam's hand the tattoo shop which i would imagine being overpriced because of where you are late hours though in the tattoo shop you really don't see that you got a whole beef jerky experience for all your different type of beef jerky needs here next to that is the happy daiquiri right next to the happy days arcade one of two arcades here. The other arcade is going to be located in Fun Spot and it is well significantly bigger than this, but this has some classic ski ball, your old school tosser clown games, Esmeralda here, some old school and old school games all alike. And then come to the section here where it's part road. There is a parking lot in the back that way. Where I parked for free for now, but there was a sign saying $10 to park. So I guess after a certain time, they do start charging you. After safely crossing the street, we find ourselves at the Black Market Minerals. It's like a mineral crystal store of sorts. For all your mineral needs, you can go uh, mineral finding there. Oh, the AC feels nice. Oh, they got a Zoltan in here. Now the rides you see directly in the background are actually part of Fun Spot, even though they're on the Old Town Strip with your Fun Spot bracelet, because I actually got a few rides on Mind Blower while I was here for the video. Um, those are included in your stay. The blue, actually we'll get to that in a second. Right next to the good old General Store, where you get good old General Store stuff. You get a uh, your own made beer tap, which is pretty cool. And dog beers, I only had one. <laughs> I like that shirt. Get your caricature made up here. And the very last store up here on the left is the Kissing Me Popcorn Company. You got all different types of flavors of popcorn. But yes, either way, this blue roller coaster here is known as Hurricane. Um, it is an exact replica um, to the scale, an exact replica of the um, roller coaster in New Jersey, which was swiped away into the ocean and Seaside Heights Boardwalk. It still does stand in some form today here at Fun Spot at the very, very, very end 
of Old Town. Now doing a complete 180 here. Got Wild Billy's gifts on your left here. Just near your trip, typical non-Disney Florida stores. It's a bunch of Disney merchandise. But it's not a Disney store, but they do sell. And they have pins in there, but be careful. Those kind of stores that sell pins like that, um, they're not always authentic. Got Monty's Antico's here, another restaurant. Next to the vapor shop here. And now it's some kind of mini queen Japanese gift store. Not too sure what that's all about. Egyptian gifts. Same deal, I guess, specifically geared to that. They don't, they don't look open right now. We got a sake bar here, Asian pub and grill. But I did have sushi here one day for lunch, and it was actually very, very good. It's also bars, too, on top of that. Lucky Mouse, more Chinese. Well, this is Chinese gifts. The other store is Japanese. Extreme Woodcraft Gift Shop. Well, this is a store really does look cool. Lots of cool personalized wood figures, more Disney stuff, not being a Disney store. No, really cool store though. Here's something I gotta do one day is the magic show here at Old Town. They always have different types of shows and they're always, it seems decently cheap, it's 10 bucks. So uh, yeah, I really gotta give it a shot one day. Looks every hour from one to 10. Really cool, I gotta give it a whirl, seriously. Crossing the street again here, safely, no cars. Got an A&W root beer store right ahead. we basically get burgers, french fries, the grease food. I got ice cream, milkshakes, traditional Americana food here at A&W All American Food. Okay, now here here is a discount ticket store. Let me tell you something about these guys. It's um, not really discount tickets. You're buying into a timeshare, so be wary of these people. Got a uh, tropical bar up here called Sun on the Beach. Looks like a cool spot to hang out. You see some cars coming in already for the car show this evening. A gentleman here who's pathetic photographing all the cars as they make their turn into the parking lot. Then we go have a beer later at Sun on the Beach. Now here's the portrait gallery, the Old Town Portrait Gallery, where you can get dressed up in your favorite Western attire. And get your picture taken. See, unfortunately, many, many places like that are going down nowadays. It's good to see one still alive and living across the street, right next to the sun on the beach. It's going to be Morton Manor. Now, here's something I have done before, but unfortunately, they wouldn't let me take a camera in um, unless I have a thousand subscribers. So, please help me out, guys, so I can do that for you. It'd be cool. Um, yes, it's closed now. It opens up at 6 o'clock. It is a year-round haunted attraction, so it's a walk-through attraction. It's about 15, 20 minutes long. Depends how quick you walk and how many groups there are. But honestly, if for a year-round haunted attraction, there's about six jump scares altogether, which you may see. Oh, that's not a lot, but honestly, sometimes the less jump scares, the better. Um, just specifically because you know they're not jumping yet, but jumping, and you get some time to regroup after the jump scare, and then you get scared again, which is pretty cool. And right next to. Mortem Manor is going to be the store post mortem, which is just a horror shop. That's it is affiliated with the uh, haunted house, but it's just a horror shop uh, where you buy your horror merchandise. Across the street where I am now is a team's store. You got all your every pretty much every sport and every team is is inside there, which is pretty cool. Typical as seen on TV store here. here you get one of the best milkshakes in town, a homemade ice cream. It's specifically good for milkshakes and milkshakes only, in my opinion. Hey, your typical gold factory, they fix broken phones, you know, that kind of store. Uh, you have a smoke shop here for all your tobacco, THC needs, etc, etc. Got a classic old wound and around store. It's a bunch of different 50s, 60s, 70s merchandise and stuff in there. You can see good old Cadillac out there, Marilyn Monroe. They got an Elvis instead of a Zoltar. You know, all kind of stuff. Pink ladies from Greece. Again, those discount tickets, be wary. Most likely they're just some type of uh, time show you're buying into. Another restaurant bar here called Southern Breeze. And on the stage is where I've been told they do karaoke on Friday nights. So Looks like, well, that's what they're setting up for right now. 
Got another Disney gift store out here to the left. Again, your typical, just plain old knockoff Disney store. Same as the other one, almost exactly. Coming up here, you got Wave Surf Shop, your typical sunglass surfer, bathing suit store. All your goodies like that, and yeah. They got a British store across the street, which is a magnet store right next to it. British store I've been in before, it's really just an Americanized uh, convenience store. I guess the British just were that for the theming of it. Magnet store was fun. They do have Tiki Gyms here. You get all of your tropical needs as well as all of my bad dad shirt needs, which are fun in here too. Uh, yeah, these are dad shirts. These aren't bad dad shirts. Some bad dad shirts are more Hawaiian-esque. Across the street is Scully's Rock and Roll Experience. Really cool rock and roll store. Almost like a uh, heavy metal hot topic. In the middle here is where you can get a pina colada inside a hollowed out pineapple, which is always like fun and exciting, nice and fresh. You got an old town leather shop for your personalized leather and ring carving needs. I'd like actually walk inside these stores and give you a full tour of every single store here. It would take quite some time, that's why I'm just going briefly over it. Got a Sushi Express across the street, haven't tried that yet. Shades here in the sun, just a sunglass store. Not too crazy, groovy store. Um, a wonderful hippy dippy store to get all your groovy needs. Groovy, baby. Got a garage bar here, which literally is what it says. It looks like a garage and a bar. You can rent these cars, which are pretty cool. Got a dollar store here. Got Flipper's Pizza out in the corner. Got a bar and a restaurant here called Frogger's. And we've come full circle all the way to the front, to the front entrance of Old Town. Um, this Ferris wheel actually is part of Fun Spot too. So if you have a Fun Spot wristlet, bracelet like this, uh, Ferris wheel is included. I would go on it, but it's starting to rain right now. So I'm not gonna do that. Bar looks pretty empty. We got another Shunis kitchen and bar front. We got a fish bar there, wine and beer barbecue. Some more restaurants and stuff. And then here you got the Extreme Ninja Challenge, which looks pretty cool. If you want to be a ninja or do ninja-like stuff, this is where you want to go. And then here you got Nathan's. I'll tell you, well, yeah, if you don't know what Nathan's is, <laughs> I'll not tell you. But here is a slingshot and an extreme swing. Um, it's called the Vomitron, the swing. I've done it before. It's 20 bucks a ride. Actually, really, really worth it. The slingshot, I haven't done this one specifically, but I've done many, many like it. Um, this is not part of Fun Spot nor Old Town. They'll, both of these attractions are separate ticketed events um, right next to the checkers up there. Yeah, but that's all separate. It's not part of Fun Spot whatsoever, which is unfortunate. Um, but you still, if you get a Fun Spot bracelet or a season pass, you could do the Sky Coaster for just 10 bucks. But yeah, what's cool about this bar is you just come out here, have a drink, play some checkers, you know, enjoy yourself. And that's going to be a wrap here, guys, from Old Town in Kissimmee, Florida. Wonderful time showing you guys around. I love the old school carnival feel, feel this place really does offer. It gives you that uh, boardwalk-esque style, especially at night when all the lights are on and flickering. Um, it really gives me appreciation where when I go to a cool theme park like Disney or Universal now, where those routes and those routes came from. Um, and it's honestly places like this, and I love it, it's still alive today, and they haven't nixed it at all. Great time to come here. If you want some old time traditional fun, you want some modern thrills, they have it all here. So definitely come check out Old Town in Kissimmee, Florida. Please sure guys to like and subscribe down below. Please pass your channel on to your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate it. Catch you guys next time. I'll meet you at the Midway.